outside oh i had a very full you got uh-huh, you had a very <laughs> i think i had a very fulfilling life yeah. um i really remember my life in KU so well mm-hmm. and and i really enjoyed it mm-hmm. as i said KU was a was an arts place huh? I mean, there, there's a lot of, of course, primarily it was an education, an university that was offering education. Yeah. But then, of course, because of the literature students and very, very accomplished yeah. um, uh, literature lecturers, mm-hmm. uh, the dramatists, mm-hmm. you know, the likes of David Mulwa, mm-hmm. the likes of Kisa Mateshe, the likes of uh, Wasambo, where all these people were, in, in terms of writing and creative arts and theater, mm-hmm. renowned names. Mm-hmm. So we, we, there was a lot of, uh, emphasis on drama and, and yeah, those are, yeah. So so I did I did that too. I, I but I was more into into music. Remember I told you that I had started an interest in music when I was in primary school. So I was part of the university choir. So went across the country, went to state house. The first time I went to state house was to sing. <laughs> there are all these mass choirs that we used to have um, during the 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 national celebrations. So I was always part of that. Um, so I enjoyed that the mm. choir. Mm. Uh, we used to have Culture Week every every year. Mm. So as part of Culture Week, you mm. know, you're preparing items, yeah. whether it's skits or drama or yeah. singing, you know, small bands here and there. Mm. So I was really part of that. Mm. And then yeah, and then I continued writing, mm. um, continued being, you know, into journalism and things like that. Mm. But other than that, I, I also just um, tried so many other things, even with still while I was still in university, still mm. outside the university. Yeah. Um, as I said, I was a book person. Yeah. I love to read. Yeah. I was really good with general knowledge. Mm. So I'd enter all these quiz shows. I think the one I remember most was, um, there used to be a show run on KTN called, uh, I don't know, uh, Who's Matter Now? Who's Matter? Yes. Oh, you, you, you participated I partici- in that? I participated uh, in that and with won... With the late Reginare? With Reginare. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not, not, not Regina, Regina Ray, Regina Motoko? No, Regina Ray. Regina Ray, Regina oh, Ray who's okay. still there. Not, right. not the yeah, late Regina yeah, Motoko, yeah, but yeah. Regina Ray. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. So we, I participated in that. I mm. think I was a second, first, somewhere between first and second year. Mm. It was my first, it was my second year, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my second year. Mm-hmm. I, I had been trying for a long time to, to, to groom a team of ladies. You know, it used to be beauty versus bronze. So yes. you have a team of girls mm-hmm. and a team of boys yeah. and men. Yeah. Rather. Yeah. So so I tried to get a lot of my girlfriends interested, right. but none 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 was ready. So I then I, I decided to apply by myself and mm. they said there are other girls who also don't have teams, so mm. just come. Mm. One of the Sundays on your recording, mm. we'll put you together with mm. a group of girls, two other girls. Mm. So I went. I went. Mm. We were put together. We did the uh competition. Uh you know, they used to have two rounds yeah. where you 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 know the, the guys team answers, they are given a question, they answer. Yeah. Whatever. So we answered more questions than the guys. So we, after two rounds, now it's they have to get one person, yeah. even among your team, who's yeah. who's you know yeah. who's gonna eat. who's the eight. Yeah. yeah. So we made it as a, the girls' team. Yeah. So in the third round is a quick fire. Yeah. You are given fifteen questions. Yeah. You have to answer ten questions correctly yeah. within Seven. one minute. Yeah. One minute. Yeah. So if you answer those ten questions, yeah. you are told to pick go go the somewhere you pick an envelope. That yeah. envelope has a name of the prize you're going to claim. Yeah. So I, we, we make it through the quick fire. Yeah. I go pick an envelope. Yeah. It says that was a it was a main prize, yeah. an air ticket to London, a return air ticket to London. Yes, that was the main prize. So it says an return air ticket to London. I was like, okay, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> so I go now to the stand and they yeah. shoot the questions. So I was just answering. Actually, so answered. I, you are the one to answer. The, you are the it. You are the grit. You are the one to do the. Questions. So all 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 the or three lady all the three right. ladies had to oh. do three i mean had to do the, the 10 questions right. yeah mm-hmm. so they, they all went through the quick fire okay. but none of them okay. answered i mean right. they all picked their prizes okay. and if you pick if you get it if yeah. you if you get it you if you answer 10 questions yeah. you get the prize yeah. if you don't they will just give you 1000 for each okay. uh, question that has been answered correctly okay. so in when it was my turn mm-hmm. i went there i answered 10 questions the 10 questions i didn't they didn't even get to the 15 mm-hmm. 10 questions mm-hmm. simultaneously i was just mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. In 52 seconds, mm-hmm. I'd answered 10 questions mm-hmm. and I had my air ticket to London. Yeah. <laughs> you answered all of them correctly. Yes. I'd, and the I'd, ticket, whatever the price yes. you're holding with you was the ticket. It yes, was it was mine. Oh, congratulations. But I didn't go to London. Why? <laughs> oh, I didn't why? go to London because, I mean, I was in the middle of school. It was, uh, the, it was in September. I got the prize in September. The semester had just started. Of course, the ticket can be extended. Yeah. But then I needed the money more. It was 80,000 80, shillings. That was 21 years ago. That yeah. was a lot of money. Yeah. 
it actually paid my school fees from oh. second year up to the end, up to the time I actually got a job. I was a very, in those very modest terms, a rich girl because yeah. I always had money from that, what I won that time. Yeah, yeah. I never had to ask from that time. Oh, so it was money or the box? It was, yeah. So so they actually gave me the option of claiming the money because yeah. we thought, we sat with my parents and thought, okay, so if you go, you don't have relatives, mm. it's only a ticket. Yeah. There's no accommodation. Yeah. The, you know, it's not really like a trip. Mm. You've just won tickets. Mm. But then what do I go do? Mm. Yeah, who do I go see? Mm. No money. There's no shopping There's nothing. I'll just end up spending more money. Yeah. You know, and I need the money. Yeah. I mean, I'm in, I'm in campus. Yeah. My parents have other yeah. children. Yeah. One in, yeah. one also in university. Yeah. Two yeah. others in high school. Yeah. There are people, yeah. other people to feed. That's a, that's trouble yeah. Though. So from then on, actually, yeah. in fact, I always say that is the last time I ever asked my parents for money. They never yeah. gave me a shilling after that. Because yeah, yeah. I use that money. It sustained mm. me through my, of course, together with help, mm. sustained me through my, my university. Mm. It, yeah, my university that life. Was, that was, that was really it was so I, I and and I did a lot of those quizzes. In mm -hmm. fact, I mean, I would do a lot of those days when Ka Caroline Mutoko's show on Kiss. Mm -hmm. Those days when it was still, they used to have so many quizzes. So every yeah. day when I'm just and I just think I'm broke, yeah. I start calling. I start calling. In fact, at some point she banned me and told me, Sheila, don't call again, because <laughs> I was always winning. Anything to do with general knowledge and every, I was yeah. there. I was answering the questions yeah. and winning money. So. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really, I think for me, I remember that so vividly because okay. campus, you know, campus sometimes you, you yeah. want to do things, yeah. but yeah. the money is not there. Yeah. And you also don't want to burden your parents too much. Mm. Yeah, because you can see sometimes they are struggling. Mm. So you also want to have your own income, like and work a little. And you also be a little independent, even if they have money and they can give yeah. you, you also don't feel like you, exactly. you're asking all the time. Exactly. Yeah. So so really that that for me was, was really big in campus. Just also trying to get my own um my, my own resources yeah. and not really relying on my parents yeah mm -hmm. yeah very interesting very interesting so you come and clear yes mm -hmm. yeah so i i cleared um yeah. i graduated around 2000 and 2003 uh, yeah so as, as my mom had pushed me go to ku you will mm -hmm. finish within two and a half years mm -hmm. i did yeah I, I finished actually within two and a half years mm -hmm. so i graduated in 2003 mm -hmm. i was uh, just turned 22 years mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, now time to tarmac. <laughs> but, but before that, I had be, I'd continued, as I said, I'd continued writing. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of the sources of my in, of, of income was also writing because mm -hmm. I used to write uh, for Young Nation. Young Nation, the, 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 yeah. the car pull out on, pull out on, on, on Sunday, Sunday Nation. Nation yeah. Yes, I used to do, 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 uh, submit a lot of fiction, fiction stories, mm -hmm. and I would pay 500 shillings, 1,000, which is a lot of money then. Mm -hmm. So I, I was also trying to make a name so that I thought, hey, so now when, when, I, when I finish school, mm. I'll just be waiting for the offers. <laughs> I'll just be seeing eh, letters, come and work for us, come and write for us. Mm. Oh, happy. No, that didn't happen. Mm. But I'd, been, I'd continued writing for Young Nation. Mm. So I, I started Tamakin. And you know those days Tamakin was, was different. We didn't have so much ac and access to internet was yeah we had a few cyber cafes yeah. we didn't have i mean mobile phones actually had a mobile phone because of the money that i'd earned at some yeah. point i was one of the first ones to have a mobile phone those days mm. but tamakin was a different ball game i remember you would maybe you have to walk to the phone booth those call boxes mm. you know mm. start calling you you write you look through the directory uh -huh, this organization this organization you write the numbers mm. you go to the call box start calling uh -huh, I'm, I'm not so and so i'm looking for a job you know, we don't have any opening so i got a lot of that mm. but i just said i'm not going to wait for them to be advertised i'll just send my cv out mm. so because I'd, as i'd said i i had an interest in development work mm. and and um mm. and uh yeah mostly that i'd call it development mm. so i actually just listed all the development ngos mm. and and some governance uh ones mm -hmm. and started sending out applications mm -hmm. because i realized this journalism one may not come you know, when the journalism job comes, fine. And I can continue writing. Yeah. I thought I can continue writing even as I start the development work. Mm. Um, so I, I tried, reached out, wrote a lot of whatever letters, mm. nothing. Mm. I think I got invited to one interview, mm. uh, which was uh, dealing with a, a youth organization, youth parliament. Mm -hmm. I, parliament I, yeah. I, I performed so miserably. You know, they're asking you questions. Uh -huh, tell us about yourself. My name is Sheila. Uh, what have you? Uh, so tell us about uh, what you have studied, your academic background. I have a bachelor of arts in, you know, as in I was so basic, you know, <laughs> I couldn't explain the myself, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm probably yeah. thinking, even yeah. them, they must have thought, oh, girl, this girl is so dull and listless. Yeah. Yeah. So, but from that interview, I learned so much. Mm. When I went back home after that interview, I beat myself so much because I was like, Sheila, you could have done better. Mm. 
So I started preparing myself for interviews. Yeah, and, and researching a lot. Mm -hmm. So when this one interview came, I remember I, I didn't apply for the job. Mm -hmm. I was merely just, I was just called one day by, um, I remember actually I was in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And of course I, I already had my mobile phone, yeah. So I was in the bathroom and I get a call from, from uh, a guy, he introduces himself. Mm -hmm. He says he works for I Choose Life. Mm -hmm. 